I believe has helped tremendously. I've never been on a project of this scale that has been broken down to the point that this is. And it, 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 to me, it's just simply amazing. I hope to see it elsewhere in the industry. Well, we want to make sure it's all done safely. And so we really look at the work to make sure that when we're uh, planning it, that we're doing it in the safe, safest way as possible so that we're not uh, trying to put the craft in any in danger. Usually while we're making out our, our boards, uh, me and my foremans and uh, my superintendents will sit down and figure out the task we have in hand and figure out our manpower and how many man hours it takes to do each each task. And uh, you know, we try to try to beat each task we set. If we set a you know, goal for you know two days, 20 hours, we always try to do a little better. Um, but that's usually when we we map out our, our game plan. I coordinate all of our efforts with everyone else, everyone else, the other trades, uh, carpenters, laborers, etc. That uh, we eliminate waste. And when we detail in between the other crafts, this would be carpenters, this would be iron workers, and the laborers. We start interacting within the, the crafts. Well, the war room is the assured production planning controls. Uh, what it is, it uh, basically gets everyone on board as to their two week look ahead, their actual work production plan for the week, and uh, everyone's on board with it. Everyone knows what everyone else is doing, and it helps utilize resources and manpower. Complete all your daily tasks. No, I got everything but. Two, Dave, out of the six. And the reason is? Well, item number two, continue bleed hole plates. Uh, we didn't get all of them completely surveyed. Um, the other item that you missed? The other one was number four, was installed drill collar foam. We we didn't get all the drill collars in to get them all the foam installed around them. And how does that affect the work today? Just a little bit behind going into today, we're just going to have to catch up and hopefully with the survey we can get all the plates surveyed and shot in today and get all the drill collar foam secured and fastened. And if I am not finishing those tasks, how did it affect you? Yeah, we're okay there, uh, Dave. It didn't really affect us there. Actually, uh, we're he's waiting on us, so it, it really didn't affect us in any way, shape, or form. I'd say a good uh, even kill with the workflow. Everybody knowing what's going on day in and day out, uh, projected work, look aheads, it, it, it's help, no doubt. They've moved down there, and Wednesday they'd, be, they'd have two divers in the water jetting, working on getting that row prepped. And once all the holes are visible, um, pressure wa airlifting the debris out of the hole, pressure washing them to clean them, figure out, putting the cover in the sand bag to get in time. We don't, have, we don't have a problem here when we go to start the grounding operation. From where we went when I got here from working two shifts, 10 hour shifts, day and night, to a single shift, eight men, where I went from 10 men down and having the same amount of productivity and being better, we've cut our schedule in half. Well, we just, we try to all plan it together, superintendents, engineers, and uh, we just talk about it, and then we just, plan on how we're going to do things and then we will just make it happen. Well, you know, on the before action review, <clears throat> you get the benefit of meeting with the crew to explain in detail what the plan is and the pre-planning efforts that have gone on to that point. And again, it goes back to relying on the expertise of the craftsmen in the field. They'll be able to quickly identify if there's an issue. Be able to quickly identify if there's a change that needs to be had and you're able to implement that change before the work, before the work continues. Uh, after action review is a good opportunity while it's still fresh in everyone's mind to review the work that was just completed to see where changes are needed and can be implemented. Uh, every morning we have our production sheets that are issued to us that give us our goals and percentages to attain. Like I said, those are given every morning and then at the end of shift we will uh, turn those back in with our tasks accomplished. Because they're help planning their own work. They help plan that. They're, they're involved in it. Uh, they're involved with thoughts, ideas, uh, uh, goals, uh, things of that nature. They're involved with each other. It gets a sense of ownership with the craft, a sense of accountability, and, uh, and a sense that it is their plan, it's, it's their schedule. Uh, personally, I think there's always room for improvement. 
and uh, that's something we try to look at day in and day out in each task we do. There's always room for improvement. If we don't get to be better at what we do, then I don't expect uh, there to be near as many companies around doing the work. If I owned this company or I was paying for this out of my pocket, I, I would want the client or whoever it is that I'm paying out of my pocket to be as organized and as, as detailed as we are here to eliminate unnecessary waste, unnecessary manpower, have people on the payroll you don't need. Because, I mean, you'll tell on yourself right up here. I mean, it, so, you know, if I'm paying for it, then you better believe it. Yes, there's always room for improvement.